Hey guys, what's up? It's Cecily. It's Drive Girl Drive. And I'm here in El Segundo. I just got finished filming at Spectrum across the street and I'll show you guys. Anyway, um, we were talking about the uh, rideshare ban at LAX, but more importantly, this is why you click on the video. So $30 an hour at LAX, how do you feel about it? I've heard some people speculate on what they think it means, but I've looked at the actual words and the words say $30 an hour base, okay? And as far as I'm concerned, that means when you are on the app, that does not mean a booked $30 per booked hour. Those words are not in that initial memorandum. That's all I'll say about it. Now, as this thing changes shape, that may be what it turns into because I believe El Monte um, is going in that direction where it's a per booked hour. But as it stands right now, Herb J. Weston has not actually said that just yet. So as far as that goes, if that's the case, $30 an hour to me for both your pay and your expenses seems to be a fair start. I don't think that it's really fair to split down the middle saying most drivers need to need uh, $15 for themselves and then $15 for their car expenses. I think it changes per day. <laughs> some days you got gas, some days you don't, you know what I mean? And I know many of people who drove part-time and they were able to make fabulous <laughs> pay uh, just doing this part time. And we all do know people that started off making a good, you know, good amount of money and then having to drive twice as much just to make that same amount. So with that being said, for the for people who definitely need the help, need the assistance, I think having a base pay is a start. It keeps people, it keeps money in people's pockets. People don't have to drive 40, 50, 60, 80 hours a week just to make ends meet. You know, I know tons of people that are affected uh, by the pay cuts and decreases and that just haven't found a really easy way to make this job work for them. And I also know people who have no complaints at all. Just because you're not hearing people brag about the money they make doesn't mean that they, you know, doesn't mean that they don't exist. They do. Uh, but for the guys who really need the additional help, who haven't really found a way to make this work for them but this is what they're doing at this point in time um, but I think that any move towards offering additional pay or pay that they can people can count on is better than nothing it's just better overall it's better overall let me know what your thoughts are and if you think this will work in Los Angeles <laughs>